So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. Stands helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And already we're underway here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Neymar. Neymar, surely. He has an array of skills that can elevate the quality of a match or, or change its course with a flash of brilliance. And his talent can, can take this game to a, a higher level of excitement, and I hope it does. Well, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Good interception. Messi. He's picked him out. Massive leap! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Juventus trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Stones plays it forward. Daniel Alves. Alexander Arnold. And it's Salah. Could be a chance here. Shapes to shoot! and space of plenty, he is never going to miss. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't read them. They paid the price and deserved to. Juventus grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Gay. Kimpembe. Hoists it forward. And now the breakaway. And here's what it's Salah! Yeah, that's a decent try when you consider the range. Danilo Pereira. Idris Gay. Neymar. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Pumps it into the area. Stones is there to heave it away. Oh, good take. He's gone for it. Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And again they hit the front. Speed of thought, efficiency of movement and certainty of outcome. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out.
Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Stokes. Tierney. And it's Neymar. He's got options out wide. Nicely controlled. Delivers across. Tries to get it clear. Gets on the end of it. And the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better? Especially from there. for half time so a really good half of football three goals and just one separating them it's kind of a hard one to call Peter isn't it I mean from what we've seen so far both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial so it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. And that's the start of the second half. Juventus need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Alexander-Arnold. Looks to set one up. Salah. Is there any support? He might not need it. And very necessary. Breaks on here. Out to the right. Lovely bit of skill. He's there to be. First touch was absolutely heavenly, and because of it, the finish was a mere formality. So the lead now is two. Look, it's a whole different ball game now, Peter, and it's a test of how they manage affairs from here. Idrissa Gay. Now it's Neymar. Mbappe. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Dani Alves tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Neymar. And it's played forward. Gets it back. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to... And the shot! Oh, taken with style! Just one goal in it now! Game on! Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. A 
Danilo Pereira. Messi. Hakimi. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Messi. Danilo Pereira. And here's Messi. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Mohamed Salah! Should have equalised. Mohamed Salah was already celebrating in his head and probably still can't process how the keeper denied him. What a stop. And it's Danilo Pereira. Good. So this may have been different. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Well played, he saw that coming. Kimpembe. Marco Verratti. Messi set up one goal so far. Two minutes to be added on. Mbappe has a goal! Oh, that's a fine save! Well, you can't ask him. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Juventus lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win, and I think everything was just a letdown because of that. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.